Plenty of rain in the valley and a winter storm set to hit the Cascades. You see all that gray out there already. The weather is even causing some to change their plans. Kruger's farm on Savvy Island says they are closing their corn mazes tonight because of the soggy conditions. Let's go to Chief Meteorologist Matt Safino joining us now. What can we expect, Matt? Yeah, you know it's serious when the corn maze gets closed, right? <laughs> all right, up at Timberline, this is live. This is not some washed out background. This is what it actually looks like from our camera lens. Up at Timberline Lodge right now, the lens is just coated. It's only 31 degrees. The wind's not too bad right now, just 13 miles an hour, but it is going to be coming down in the Cascades overnight tonight. This is also live a minute ago from Crater Lake. I could see Wizard Island with new snow on it. Not anymore. 30 degrees down at Crater Lake. So our forecast for the mountains looks like this. For Mount Hood, the snow levels and the snowfall, impressive. Over the next day or two, we're looking at 10 to 24 inches of new snow. That's upwards of two feet tonight into and through tomorrow. That's when that's going to snow the hardest is tonight and overnight and into the morning hours tomorrow. Another three to seven inches of snow on Sunday, but the snow level drops back down to about 4,500 feet. The good news with all this is the snow is generally staying above the passes. So for weekend travelers, the roads will be wet. It'll rain hard, but snow on the roads, not really a thing for the major passes across the Cascades. Look at this too. We'll talk more about how high that freezing level gets later on in the week, but I want to show you where we've got the watches and warnings. Winter storm warning up for elevations of above about 5,000 to 5,500 feet in the Cascades. Again, for all the snow and same thing over in Northeast Oregon too. We've got winter storm warnings and advisories there. Meanwhile, back at the passes, as you can see, it's just rain at government camp. It's just rain at Sandy Ann Pass and it's rain even at the higher pass 5,000 feet down at Willamette Pass. So yes, a lot of snow coming to the Cascades. But unless you're up above 5,000 feet and way above the major roads, it shouldn't be a problem. Back to you. Matt, thank you.